Uh, hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Blessing Mulamba, and I thought let me just uh, make a short clip whereby I work on one question, just one question, uh, to get us started right to build that hype for the master classes. So today I'm gonna be working on only question six point one. So it is um November two thousand and eight question paper, right? So if you don't know, I'm hosting free master classes. If you want to join, kindly please text the number. You'll find it on uh, the description of this video. Uh, and then you'll get details on the free master classes, metric accounting master classes. So I'm going to be working through question 6.1, right? So whenever you're answering an accounting question, first thing first, you must uh, try to understand what's the business you're dealing with, right? understand what they do was their ordinary course of business so we're going to start by reading the introductory paragraph which is this one for this question so that we get some context on what's the business we're dealing with so they say you are provided with the information in respect of bloomfontein hardware right so bloomfontein hardware is the business that we're dealing with and it has a year end of 29 feb 2008 so what i usually like to do is to write my financial year end on top so that i always remember which financial year i'm working with so the financial year end is the 28th of feb 2008 meaning that it started on the 1st of march which is the following month of feb 2007 so we have 12 years in a financial year right so the business is owned by mike moore and Millie Miles. So this are the two owners of the business, right? And after getting some context into uh, what business you're dealing with, it's best to go and read your required so that you know what's required of you, right? So the required says you must prepare an asset disposal account for office equipment which is computers which were stolen on the dead year of june 2007 and then they tell you that you must see information one below so this is very important because you shouldn't waste your time reading other information uh, while all your answers must be based on information one over here so we're going to get to the to information one but let's analyze the question. So they say you must prepare the asset disposal account. What's the asset disposal account? So usually you prepare the asset disposal account when you are um, disposing of an asset. So you can either, uh, when you either like selling an asset or if it's stolen, as long as the asset is leaving the business. Therefore, we must prepare an asset disposal account. So account, the referring to a T account. So if you see on my right, we have the T account, the asset disposal for equipment. I can just add that this is for computers. Uh, and they tell you that uh, you preparing an asset disposal account for office equipment for a computer computers which were stolen on the third year of June 2007. Remember, I said whenever. An asset is leaving the business it can be uh, either it's stolen or we selling the asset or we ha throwing away the asset meaning that we scrapping it that we need to prepare an asset disposal account so here they tell us that the computers were stolen on the third year of June 2007 meaning that on the third year of June we must prepare this asset disposal account right so we're dealing with 2007 so let's go and read our information one so that we can answer this question. So they tell you that office equipment and disposal. So office equipment includes office computers. Six of the office computers were stolen on the third year of uh, June two, 2007. So they tell you that six. So that six is important because if they give you like a unit cost or whatever for each of the computers you can multiply it by six to get the total cost and whatever and then they say these six computers were originally bought at the cost price of thirteen thousand two hundred each that's what i was talking about that 
the total cost of the six computers will be 13,200 times six, right? Because six computers were stolen and these computers were bought at 13,200 each. So I'm just going to make an assumption, right? We know that we have this office computers, which are consist of other equipment as well. But for this sake of the question, I'm going to assume that. So I'm going to do my workings down here. I'm going to assume that we only had uh, the six computers that were stolen in our equipment. So I'm just making an assumption that under our equipment, we only had the six computers. And remember that when we buy an asset, an asset, an asset account increases on the debit side and it decreases on the credit on, on the on the credit side. So an asset account increases on the debit side and decreases on the credit side. So when we bought these computers, we would have went and uh debited the equipment uh, thing. So meaning that the balance here would be that thirteen thousand two hundred times six. So I'm assuming here that uh we only have the six computers in our equipment. So I'm just going to pull my calculator real quick. Uh, so I'm getting 79,200. So I'm assuming here that we only have six computers. I'm not saying we have six computers. So this is just the working so that I can explain this thing better. So I'm saying for equipment, we have 79,200, which is only the six computers, right? And the only time we are allowed to credit this account to decrease this equipment account is if we are scrapping this account or the assets are leaving the business right the six computers when they're leaving the business that's the only time we go and decrease the equipment account but other than that we don't decrease the equipment account but rather we know that whenever we use an asset can be equipment or whatever it decreases in value that's where depreciation comes in right whenever we use an asset we depreciate it and by depreciating it we decreasing the carrying amount of that asset right accumulated depreciation and if you remember if you remember properly so your carrying amount of an asset will be your cost minus your accumulated depreciation so that's your carrying amount your carrying amount is your cost minus your accumulated depreciation so whenever we use this asset we go and depreciate it and when we depreciate it we increase the accumulated depreciation account which is a negative asset since it's a negative asset it means that it increases on the credit side and decreases on that debit side because it's a negative asset so whenever we use this account we go in uh debit depreciation and uh, create accumulated depreciation note we don't go and decrease the value of the asset on the equipment account directly when we're depreciating it that's not allowed we allowed to credit the accumulated depreciation rather. The only time we're going to credit this account is if we're taking this computers out of our book completely, right? So I just wanted to explain that point. So they told us that the cost is 8,200 each, and then I assumed here that we only have the six computers in our account. And then they say the insurance company, Ace Insurance, only paid 5,000 for each computers. So that's the amount we got for this computer has been disposed, right? That's the amount you got for this thing to be disposed. And if you think about it here, we'd have, uh, when we receive this cash, you'd say, okay, we're receiving this cash. Uh, and you go and debit bank by 5,000 each for the six computers, meaning that we got how much? If you say 5,000 times six, we got, 30,000 for these computers for the insurance company from the insurance company and your contract account is asset disposal remember that this amount that we got relates to the asset disposal and by debiting bank meaning that we're increasing the cash in the business remember bank is also an asset so it increases on the debit side it decreases this side and we received cash from an insurance company which increases bank on the debit side your contract account is asset disposal 
this amount you received it because you sold an asset meaning that your contract account is asset disposal since here you debited um bank you're going to go to the asset disposal account and credit it your contract account is bank so you credit this account by dead c one two three so i'm happy we did that we did that and then they say uh, the computers were replaced at the higher price on the dead sea first august 2007 so that doesn't affect your asset disposal account because now we're buying other assets it doesn't affect your asset disposal account but we know that this equipment that's sitting at seventy nine thousand two hundred is no longer in our book so we must go and take it out how do we take it out we credit the account right and we take it through asset disposal so here we credit equipment taking it out of our books completely those six computers meaning that your contract account here will be uh equipment here so asset disposal you debit asset disposal by the cost price right remember here the equipment account we created it to take this out of our books and then your contract account goes to your debit remember for every credit there must be a debit and so we took out this cost from our equipment account but remember we had accumulated depreciation because these six computers have been used and they have been depreciated we must also go and take out the accumulated depreciation that's sitting on the accumulated depreciation account and take it to asset disposal remember whenever we use this asset we depreciate it was the accumulated depreciation did they give us the accumulated depreciation uh, let me just check Thirty thousand and five thousand each so they didn't give us the accumulated depreciation but if we go to office equipment because we know that this is the only disposal that was made during the year they told us that disposal had carrying value so the disposals on your ppe or your fixed asset note they always add carrying value so this is your carrying value meaning that here they gave you if you remember our equation over here so let me just do this if you remember our equation let me just erase this one erase erase so they gave you the carrying amount l63 360 that's your carrying amount and you know that the cost for this was seventy nine thousand two hundred. so now you want to solve for the accumulated depreciation that was sitting in your accumulated depreciation account before you disposed of these assets so how you can do it you can basically say okay meaning that your accumulated depreciation will be your cost minus your carrying amount and you get how much do you get let me just see 9200 minus 63360 you get 15840 so this is your accumulated depreciation that was sitting in this account. Remember, we said this is a negative asset. Whenever we depreciate, the accumulated depreciation will end up on your credit side of the accumulated depreciation account, right? Let's say this was just a balance, right? We had this balance sitting in the accumulated depreciation. Now we need to go and take it out completely because this asset is no longer in the business, meaning that it shouldn't be in our books. So we go and... Uh, debit asset accumulated uh, depreciation take it through asset disposal and since here we debited accumulated depreciation we must go and credit accumulated depreciation on the asset disposal account by 15 8 40 right so now with this entry and this one we took everything out that was relating to this equipment in our books right so we cancelled them out we cancelled it out here we cancelled the accumulated depreciation and this one is basically the amount we received from uh disposing that asset got this amount from the insurance company so all you need to do now is balance your account so which side is bigger right i think the bigger side is this one seven nine two hundred so when you say 79200 minus 15840 and then you minus 30 1 2 3 you get 33 3 3 60. 
so this is your loss on disposal so if you wanna uh, claim it through you know that in your asset disposal account if your balancing figure is on the credit side then it's a loss and if it's on the debit side it's a profit why is this because if you think about it we're saying that the carrying amount of the asset was sitting at 63 360 this is your carrying amount right and the amount we get we got so we're basically saying the value of this six computers why were 63,360 for a business but the amount we got rather is only uh how much did we get we only got 30,000 from disposing this equipment so the cash that we receive from disposing this uh computers is less is less less than the value of the asset so basically we made a loss and the loss is for the difference right because this was our carrying amount but the only uh cash we got is thirty thousand, which is less than the value of these assets therefore we made a loss so this is how you could have presented your answer so you shouldn't you 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 were not required to show all this uh, workings or this tier accounts or whatever i just did this for understanding purposes but the only thing you needed to present is the asset disposal account so you can basically skip through these workings and say okay what's the cost of this thing let me go and debit it I mean cost i'm taking it out from the equipment account and what's the accumulated depreciation let me go and credit it on this account because i'm taking it out from the asset from the accumulated depreciation account and the cash that i received let me credit it because the contra entry was david bank and then you balance it and you show this loss over here so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful remember we hosting free accounting master classes so please share it with your classmates and make sure that you sign up text uh, the number on the description of, of this video or you can click the link on the description join the whatsapp group and then you'll get information on how to register for the free master classes i strongly believe you'll ace you'll ace accounting get 100 percent for accounting and lastly but not least i uh, make sure that uh, you kindly please like this video uh, so that we can pump it up in the youtube algorithm and that it can reach more people and change lives and make sure that you subscribe so that you can get more of such videos i'll make sure that all the free master classes are also uploaded on the youtube channel and lastly but not least feel free to comment and tell me which section you want me to cover or which question you want me to do and also if you don't understand anything in this video you can drop a comment and then I'll assist you. Thank you.